Hey, Bust and Boxing, we are back in the house. And um, it's, it's been like a heavyweight Tuesday. I mean, just news just popping up all over the place over the last 24 hours dealing with the heavyweight. So, you know, I'm going to go ahead and deal with Anthony Joshua since um, y'all are just pretty much round everything on out. We had the Fury news, him and Dillian White. We've dealt with the uh, Deontay Wilder. Uh, Luis Ortiz news. So, like I said, we might as well just go ahead and do something about AJ. And uh, as we know, he's fighting this weekend, him and Andy Ruiz Jr. And he's saying that because of what Deontay Wilder did last weekend, he's feeling the pressure to do the same with uh, Andy Ruiz Jr. And I'll be honest with you, AJ needs to be focused. I mean, I don't have no dog in the fight. I like all heavyweight fights. It don't matter who it is because somebody should get knocked out when you see two big heavyweights getting in there with each other. So I just want to see a good fight. But at the end of the day, I do want to see AJ fight Fury. I want to see AJ fight, fight Wilder. So I got to kind of root for these guys to see that happen. Now, with that being said, like I said, AJ really needs to focus on what he got going on this weekend. He keep talking about him and Wilder, Wilder this, Wilder that, him and Fury, him and Dillian White. I mean, he's he's talking about everything except for the fight this weekend. Every now and then you will hear him talk about who wears, who wears ain't playing. That boy focus is AJ. Because at the end of the day, you saying you need a knockout, now you putting extra pressure on you, but you talking about everything under the sun except for who wears. He need to go somewhere for the next couple days and just be quiet. Like, forget doing interviews if you can. You know, do what you got to do for us, the oppressors, at the end of the week, the way and this, that, and the third. But for the next couple of days, I will just sit and focus on what I got to do to task at hand this weekend. Because here's the thing. Once he get past Andy Ruiz, and that's if he get past Andy Ruiz, and a lot of people out here feel like Ruiz is going to upset him. I'm not one of them, but I do think he has a shot. But once he get past Ruiz, here's the problem. Who's going to be your next opponent? Because with all of this breaking news that kicked out over the last 24 to 48 hours about Wilder fighting Ortiz this fall and Dillian White, if he beats Oscar Rivas and if Tyson Fury beat Tom Swartz, well, they'll be fighting each other this fall as well. So who do you have left to fight? Well, clearly you probably wasn't going to fight Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder anyway. And I, even though you kind of flirted with the thought of fighting Luis Ortiz, I doubt if you would have fought him either. But Dillian White seemed to be an option that they was kind of throwing out there too. So now who do you, let, you have left? You can't fight UC because of the torn bicep. You, you guys kind of already scrapped that. Andy Hearns threw that out there. Then you say Pulev, but Pulev hasn't been reinstated yet, and there's no guarantee he will be reinstated by the end of the year. So, who you have left? Now you got to start looking at options of maybe a, a Michael Hunter, uh, or Manuel Char, uh, Adam Kalnachi, maybe even a Big Baby Miller, because by then, Big Baby might, might be, you know, off of suspension. If you wait till maybe possibly December or something like that. So, I mean, at the end of the day, the question is, and that's if you get past Andy Ruiz, who's going to be your next opponent? Maybe a Joseph Parker rematch, perhaps? I mean, I don't know. But the bigger names are booked. So the question is, if you get past Andy Ruiz, what do you got next to be looking at this summer? And that's a big deal for Joshua because everybody, you know, over in Europe, Eddie Hearns mainly loves talking about what kind of numbers he does. Well, we really go test that theory if he has to fight nobodies. If you have, if he's going to have to get put in there with somebody that can't help him get these numbers, we're really well. Actually, we're gonna see this weekend. But from what they're saying. The Ruiz Joshua fight isn't really doing too good for our sales. So we'll see if AJ's really the draw that they say he is because with this Ruiz fight, Ruiz, even though, you know, the main boxing, real boxing fans know who he is, as far as the casual fans, nobody knows who he is. And considering who Joshua might have to get in the ring with next, it might be the same thing all over again. So 
and Josh was really the cash cow that Eddie Hearn say he is, we'll find out over his next two fights. This is Hair Bustin' Boxing Fight Doctor. That's all I got. Hit me up in the comment section. Let me know who do you think Anthony Joshua will be fighting next if he get past Andy Ruiz Jr. Hit me up and let me know if you think he will get past Andy Ruiz Jr. Because that's another question. Hit that share button. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell. I am out.